Now, here in Britain, it seems we really can't get enough of Scandinavian crime dramas over the last few years. We've had Wallander, The Bridge, The Killing, The Killing One, The Killing Two and Killing Three, of course. They've all been huge hits. In fact, this time last year, if you weren't dressed in a Sarah Lund jumper, then frankly, why not? Well, prepare to meet an intriguing new Scandi detective, uh, Detective Downs, a quirky Norwegian private investigator with Down syndrome. Here he is in action. <laughs> well, I'm delighted to say that uh, Svein Andre Hofso, who plays Detective Downs, and uh, Bård Brian, the film's director, are with me and have flown from Norway. Especially welcome to you. Uh, first you. of all, before we go any further, fantastic suit. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, just put your shoes on the table for us. Those are zebra skin shoes. They are really <laughs> quite something. OK, you can take your shoes down now. So was it fun making this? Why, what was the idea? Come on. Well, I was kind of a little bit fed up with the usual detective's routine. Uh, a lot of people, a um, lot of films made in Norway uh, that way, you know, with the standard private detective. And uh, I thought, you know, if I'm ever going to make a film about a private detective, it's going to have Down syndrome. It was kind of a spontaneous idea. And, um, and, how, easy, and how easy or difficult was it to find Svein? Well, it was a lot of things that were difficult first to find Svein. Uh, I did it after three months of kind of researching the whole, you know, uh, southern part of Norway. Um, and, um, but also kind of the preparations for the part, we, we spent a year doing it to, to kind of learn him all the lines and so on. But we, of course, also had a, a lot of fun doing it. Svein, had you done any acting before? Yes, but it was the amateur, uh, amateur film with uh, my sister and my brother-in-law in Norway. So we played the James Bond, Man, Man with the Golden Onion. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> Were you James Bond? Yes, I was. Yeah. You know, I'm back to the Robert Boogie. Right, and, and how long did the film take to make? I mean, does it, does it take you kind of a long time to learn your lines? I mean, is it a slower process making a film? Was we, uh, like I said, we spent a year learning him. We had an acting coach and we worked a year just to learn him the lines and, and kind of the feeling in all the lines. So we worked really roughly on that. And, uh, and we had like eight weeks for the shooting and we knew that we we're going to work 12 hours a day. And uh, we, we kind of had to, uh, we had to kind of, yeah, uh, be very well prepared, so to speak. And uh, he, um, yeah, he managed. Fantastic. Are you proud of it? Yes, of course, I am. And, and I think that it has been shown in Texas. Yeah. It's been John, shown. You, you tell me. Mm. I have won uh, the, um, the best actors in Texas. So there was a film festival in Texas and you won best actor? Yeah. Over Elijah Wood and Keanu Reeves and so on. So they were impressed. Yeah. So what are your hopes yeah. for the film? Well, we hope to kind of get it shown all over the world, really. I mean, uh, we don't know yet. Uh, it's, we're going to premiere in, uh, in Norway next week. And uh, I think everybody's kind of waiting to see if, if the audience would like to see it. And I think they will, but, you know. So, so after this, Hollywood? After Norway, what's the next thing for you? Where's, where's your next film going to be? Yeah, uh, we have no plans to make uh, number two yet. <laughs> yet? But... Uh, it is a good idea, but uh, if this film is going to success, maybe. I, I, and it's interesting, isn't it? it but oh, well, do people say to you, you can't do this with someone with Down syndrome, it will be too difficult to make, mm. don't even think about it? Yeah, a lot of people said that, and of course, just to, yeah, and also they told me that, you know, it might end up on the bad taste side of it. And uh, that was kind of the struggle also to make him act so well that you know that he became this beautiful main film uh, character um, yeah and so are you expecting now that once the film comes out that people are going to be stopping you in the street and you're going to be uh, you're going to be famous in Norway let's hope that yeah 
Yeah, I think uh, like uh, coming to stop me and tell me the film is uh, good and uh, I will. Uh, I was uh, stop people saying that. So he's he's be kind of becoming a star. Uh, has become a star already. I would say he's uh, all over the media. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Was well, fine. Bored. Both of you. Thank you very much indeed for uh, coming with us. I think it's. I think the film's director should be wearing the quiet clothes, That's and the right. film star should be wearing <laughs> the extravagant flamboyant suits. Both of you. Thank you very much indeed, and very good luck with the premiere. Thank uh, you.